Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has announced and launched Gemini, which according to Google, they claim is uh, their largest and most powerful AI model to date, which according to this announcement on the 6th of December, they say um, Gemini now surpasses and takes on the likes and beats ChatGPT and other AI models according to this announcement. Now, they say that Gemini is a multimodal AI that is able to incorporate information from different sources, which means that it can generalize and understand, operate across and combine different types of information, including things like text, code, audio, image, and video, according to this launch and announcement on the 6th uh, by Google. Now, um, they say that uh, Gemini is also their most flexible model yet because it's able to efficiently run on everything from data centers to mobile devices and they also claim its state-of-the-art capabilities will significantly enhance the way developers and enterprise customers build and scale with AI. Now they say they've optimized Gemini 1 which is the first version for three different sizes. Number one the first size is Gemini Ultra which will be their largest and most capable model for highly complex tasks. The next size Gemini Pro will be their best model for scaling across a wide range of tasks. And the third size, Gemini Nano, will be their most efficient model for on-device tasks. So those are the three different sizes that are currently rolling out with Gemini version 1. Now, if we just head over uh, to a chart provided uh, from this announcement, here we can see a couple of comparisons with Gemini Ultra versus ChatGPT as an example. Now, Google says that Gemini Ultra's performance exceeds current state-of-the-art results on 30 of the 32 widely used academic benchmarks used in large language model LLM research and development. So here we can see with a score of 90%, Gemini Ultra, they say, is the first model to outperform human experts on MMLU, which stands for Massive Multitask Language Understanding, which uses a combination of 57 subjects such as math, physics, history, law, medicine, and ethics for testing both world knowledge and problem-solving abilities. And over and above that, um, the general MMLU section, which received 90%, compared to ChatGPT's 86.4%. Yeah, we get a couple of other comparisons. We've got reasoning, and if we scroll down here, we've got math, and we've got code. And according to um, Google, Gemini Ultra, in most of these different categories, outperforms GPT-4. Now, Google carries on to say that um, Gemini 1 is now rolling out across a range of products and platforms. So starting on the 6th, if you are using Google Bard and are tied into the Google ecosystem, Bard will use a fine-tuned version of Gemini Pro for more advanced reasoning, planning, understanding, and more. And they carry on to say that this is the biggest upgrade to Bard since it launched. So even if you head over to Help in Google Bard Updates, you'll see that on the 6th of the 12th, um, they started introducing Gemini Pro into BARD. So just carrying on regarding this rollout to BARD, they say this is the biggest upgrade to BARD since it launched. It will be available in English in more than 170 countries and territories, and they plan to expand to different um, modalities and support new languages and locations in the near future. And if you are using a Pixel 8 Pro smartphone, as an example, they also bring in Gemini to Pixel Pro 8. And in the coming months, they say Gemini will be available in more of the products and services like Search, Ads, Chrome, and Duet AR. So as mentioned, Google getting very serious now about uh, this new um, model, Gemini, which they say outperforms other models like ChatGPT, according to Google. And obviously, I'm keeping a close eye on this one. And go try it out in BARD. Um, this did roll out yesterday on the 6th in my region, so you may notice a bit of difference. If you are using BARD, you may not. But according to Google, that is now available in Google BARD and will be coming to other products in the coming weeks and months. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.